I'm sick of deceit, give me truth Told what to believe, give me truth Don't need no theory, I just need proof Your answers are burn answers, never freeze nothing truth. new I'm sick of deceit What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode 33 of Revival Radio. Boom, boom. My name is Rich Steve. It's the Brain Cell. Who we you got be? some homies Who with you us. Who you be? Yeah. yeah. Yo, Drunk and Monkey King, world famous Grease Monkeys crew. What's up with it? What up, Maxuno the Black Mage, Grease Monkeys? Chip. Yeah, we here. <laughs> episode hey, we 33. 33. Oh, mass, man. Man. Confirmed. In the house, we had to. For episode 33, we had to get into some deep shit, man. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We were fucking going old school. <laughs> like, when we first started the podcast, like, yeah. our 9-11 episode and shit like that, it's like an hour and a half long. Right, because right. we were doing fucking research. Right. We got back to that research for this episode. Right. We couldn't think of anybody better to bring in that our homies right uh, here. That's what it nice. is, yo. Appreciate yes. the love, bro. I Appreciate think we gotta love. we gotta kick it off though the way that we always do with the nectar of <laughs> the gods. Brain cell, what yes, the sir. fuck you drinking on this? We're week? drinking um what is that shit called? Right here, we How got you the county it? line. Nishamini. Nishamini. Nishamini Creek. Oh yeah. Uh, the county line IPA. It's that fucking pine tree rick <laughs> with yeah. my pine fucking rick. line. <laughs> and uh It's squanching, bro. Yeah, it's, it's just pretty squanching. nice. <laughs> it's we're all, pretty we're all sipping on the nectar over here. <laughs> right. What do you guys think? Because like you already it. know what my answer is, man. Oh, How yeah. many flames do you give this? Triple flame emoji for this shit, dog. Right I love it. I really love it. I didn't know at first. The first sip was a little overpowering for me. Mm. But now that I'm drinking on it, I really like it. How about Word. you guys? Same here, dog. Yeah. I gotta give it the same score. You know what I'm saying? This shit is banging, bro. Right. Like, that flavor, this shit don't even clash. It's just like beauty in my mouth. Mm. I can yeah. taste beauty. Now, the next yes. <laughs> Tri triple flames for this, especially for the art. <clears throat> yeah. The yeah. Hell yeah. The right? flavor is Rick. good. <laughs> Goes down smooth. I like it. And it's Hell that yeah. local shit. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Is, yeah, exactly. Showing it local Support love. local, yo. That's How about you, Brain Cell? So, what you got? I got the uh, the Blue Point okay. Optical Illusion. Ooh. Ooh. That's Ooh. East Coast okay. IPA. This is... Is, is that uh, the Chamonix, too? No, Okay. not. Blue Point <clears throat> Brewing Company. Uh... New York. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Seven percent alcohol. Oh, this one. Nice. Yeah, boy. What can Moby you tell Moby. me about it? It's a Moby basic, basic <laughs> it's, bottle. It's, it's a basic ass bitch fucking beer. <laughs> <laughs> this one only gets two flames. Two flames. Right. And that's being generous. Damn. Oh, Damn. So, Shots fired. I gotta say that, man. Like we still have not had a one flamer. On this, on this fucking shit. We were talking man. about this earlier off camera. I'm a fine one. All right, I got that's a couple the, of mine. <clears throat> that's the new goal. But I think it's we had time. a point five with that. Uh, with the fucking Miller, Miller Light. Light, we had a Miller Light. That was a point <laughs> five. <laughs> Except for our homie, our homie Dolan, he had to get up mid filming and go get himself some iced tea. It was just too heavy for him. <laughs> 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 yeah. Mitchell yeah. Bade in the bench. Man. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's time for the 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 uh, pros of the week. Week week. week. That is our fucking homies right here. Whatever. Introduce yourselves one more time for everybody. No doubt. So Drunken Monkey King, Grease Monkey's massive. You know what I'm saying? Used to be Ick Flair, but I actually just changed Woo. my name. So yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I changed my name. Cicada Amp now. You know what I'm saying? So y'all hear Cicada Amp? That's Ick Flair. So y'all need to still be scared. You know what I mean? <laughs> How about yeah. you, man? Uh, Mexuno the Black Mage, uh, Grease Ch Monkey's massive. They already know. They 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 don't now. They do. <laughs> Who made Black that beat? Mage. Black Mage. Black are Mage. you like a magician, bro? Like yes. what? Are you into and, that? Like everybody's a magician, man. Ooh. Everybody's a magician. I just you know that's why I, I got like the that. quotes. Oh yeah. You know Hell what I mean? Yeah, so. Man. I just, you know, I just live like Everybody's life, an alchemist, too. Exactly. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> now, we met you guys at the Voltage show. Yes. Um, You you went, like, first, didn't you? Yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, was, I was performing myself. Um, and you I'm, killed it. Yeah. Thanks, man. You guys killed it, man. Yeah, hell Look, yeah. My Kill thing was, I, I had to set the tone for it. Because yeah. I, was go I was going on first. I couldn't be whack, man. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you guys came in, and y'all carried that energy right through it. In fact, Thanks, I feel like you guys... Overtook the whole thing. Yeah, that was, that was, that was, that was, that was a straight performance. Yeah, I love that shit. You know? Especially like the old, like I'm saying, you got the Wolfpack shit going. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. I was down, yo. What's up? Yeah. What's up? So, where are you guys from? 
Uh, North Philly all day, Badlands. You know okay. what I'm saying? Oh yeah. So born and raised. West Kensington, yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. Born and raised in that jump, bro. Like it's like mm -hmm. a lot of cats claim Philly where we literally from the heart of that shit. We were in the left ventricle, that right. bitch. You know what I mean? Riding the L train every day. Every day, you know, dog. Fucking crack on the corner and people getting shot. That shit was crazy, Our people man. getting shot. Right. <laughs> now do you use that as the source of your your writing or like what do you talk about? Like Tr all right, it's a it's a little different between right. the two of us. Cause truth be told, I ain't gonna right. lie, man. I'm one of them like boo loving ass niggas. Now okay. I'm not saying I make songs. <laughs> no, I'm not saying I make songs for the ladies on some like woo woo shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's more like. You know, I talk about the pain, bro, because I've been through some shit with a couple girls. They put me through the ringer, you know what I mean? Oh, so yeah. instead of like, you know, talk, like, I don't like to talk about shit that I ain't live. One, two, I don't like to glorify shit. You know, like, I don't glorify gun violence. I see that every day, you right. know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm not trying to, like, you know, preach to the people, like, that shit's cool. You know what I mean? For us, it's a necessity. It's a tool to survive, you know what right, I mean? Right. So That's... for me, I, I usually, if you listen to my shit, I'm either talking about, you know, the system and how much I fucking hate it, to be honest. I'm talking about a girl that fucked me over, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's basically yeah. just, yeah, shit that Pretty I much, I, I say we, we try to cover every base, but not too um, general. With okay. it, you know right, what I mean? Because right. I feel like when we, oh, I got this style of song. Nah, yeah, we nah, just we, don't do we just go with the flow. Like um, yeah. if I hear a beat and it gives me an emotion, because I'm I'm the beat maker. Word. If I hear something oh, it yeah. makes me emotion, I play it for him. He writes whatever he gonna write. I just ride with it. Um, usually when I do my own stuff, I try to go a little bit more abstract with it. Okay. As far as like concepts and ideas, but at the end of the day, for me, for me personally, um, it's more like um, re uh, exposing the system and just basically trying to open eyes up. Um, sometimes I ain't gonna lie, I'm an MC, so you know I I gotta be on my braggadocious shit. Like, hey, I got bars too. Have to, yeah. You can't be a rapper without a little bit of ego. You that's know? it. Yeah, yeah, I feel hey, it. that's yeah. the balance. You gotta be cocky. It's yeah, like something right. we we battled with at first. Mm -hmm. right. We were like all under that new age shit. We're talking <clears> about like killing your ego and shit. Yeah, and like yeah. you can't rap. Right, without yeah. that, you gotta you be got, You gotta have it. You gotta, yeah, it, it gotta has gotta to be, be a balance, and that's that's exactly. what we tell him. You gotta be okay. Yeah, we could be on that lovey dovey stuff. We could I be ain't on say lovey dovey. No, <laughs> he's like, no. He's no, like no, yeah, no, no, yeah. no, I'm just saying, like, as far as like what you were just talking about, like mm. we we could touch on those topics. You gotta like, have say, flavors. You know, yeah, what I mean? that's, that's all it is, bro. And you know, Baskin Robbins out this motherfucker, bro. You know what I'm saying? And for me personally, like just sound sound wise, it's more or less like um like. Yeah, yeah. He love Rick, Rick and Morty. Yeah, he got me on. Who does it? Yeah, yeah, he got me on to that, bro. Like, oh, <laughs> but it's got it's got to be more or less like um like I gotta have emotion. Like the sound draws the emotion right. out of me. You right. know what yeah. I mean? So Definitely. really, you yeah. know, frequencies and all that. After studying all that stuff, I got that one song called Cymatics I bought with with me. But um, it, it, frequency is everything. So if if it moves me, then I'm gonna write about it. How long I mean? you guys been doing this for? Oh mm. my God. Uh, mm. what was that when? You All right, like so fourteen. Yeah, you officially, Grease Monkeys first mm -hmm. started when I was fourteen. Okay, yeah. but um, like off off the like <clears throat> actual cuff, actually doing shit. Two thousand three, I would say, is like right. when we steady. We we're like we're doing it hard. You know what I mean? Right. Two thousand three. Oh, jeez, in the yeah, building. Yeah, hell yeah. I started when I was when he was fourteen. Yeah. Actually, he must have been like ten when I started. When he started, wow. yeah. Because yeah. I, you know, I'm I'm thirty five. He's thirty two. So mm -hmm. I, I must have been like thirteen when I really like was hell like, yeah. oh, okay, I'm a rat too. Yeah, bro. hell yeah. Call my homies, have a cipher and stuff. Yeah, hell yeah. So I know that you guys. This is how we all connected. Decided to bring you in. Is you guys are into the truth movement shit. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Course. You're bro. into that all. You told us when you got here. First thing you noticed was the fucking flat Earth map. That's right. right. Yeah. So today, being episode thirty three, uh -huh. we got a lot planned, mm -hmm. and I want to know if you guys will stick around and talk a little conspiracy oh, with Fuck us. Yeah, of That's course, what we're bro. Here for, bro. Definitely down yeah, for a little yeah, bit of yeah. that. Can I uh, ask them one more of quick course. question? Mm -hmm. Where do you guys see yourself in five years? That's with this the money music question. Mm. Ah, okay. Not in the FEMA camp. I'll tell you that. Ah. Yeah. Not in the FEMA camp. You ain't getting me. <laughs> Shit. Uh, five years from now, truth be told, man, like, I kind of take it a day at a time, but if it's five years from now, I'm just rocking, dog. Like, other than that, like, I don't know. I'm just rocking, bro. Like, I see. I, I'm gonna never stop that. Time already, is now, man. Right. Yeah, you know what I mean? I already got my two year plan, man. I'm going to Costa Rica. I'm moving down there. So, hopefully, you know, within this time, I'm trying to get all my shit, my paperwork together and get all my shit out there. My, my, our dad is living down there now. So, yeah. figure, like, yeah, he got, okay. you know, try to get some land out there, man. Got to oh, do yeah. something, bro. Yeah. 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 And I, I, you know, I don't know what's going to happen with America right now, but we all know that dollar's going to collapse. So I just want to be prepared. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then just basically. 
have something for my kids for the future, man. Yeah, I, you know, I got two that's kids. That's it, man. right there, Where, man. So, this nah, song that we're about to hear is called Formaldehyde Face. What is this song from? What album is uh, it Oh, man. Ooh. All right, so <laughs> this is actually an old song. I just re released it because it's actually it's still relevant to the day. And I always tell my brother, we got me classic material. Yeah, yeah, for All real. Right. Yeah. Well, it just kicked in. Right. So we're going to take a break real quick, come back, okay. tell you what we're going to talk this about. This one's 33. That's what it is. Yeah, sir. Did she like, take these glasses off? She looks like a regular person, yeah. doesn't she, huh? Yeah, Put them back on from Maldahyde face. That's what That's we got. That's enough out of you. Yo. Get out of our car. Call the cops. Call the cops. You know what you need? You need a Brazilian flower. <laughs> Everything so messed up it hurts Knowing the eagles have control of everything From the home to church From the moment of birth till we lay in the dirt We wonder why we curse displaying our hurt For this whole world to see And this whole world is watching I'm half-baked bacon Another dope creation Part bacon, soda, vinegar Bottle blow in your face Binoculars bow to focus on my flow's trace But the Hubble has already gotten a taste Light years ahead of some fools These dudes see me firsthand I disappeared, reappeared Thoughts smack the quiz. Don't push the hand. I'm thirsty, man, hurting because the plans didn't fall through. Through the monkey in the zoo, tuck myself away, dug in crates. The rhymes, yo, I bust a few just to prove. Show judo flipping rhythm, kid, getting flow. Practice it makes perfect. So keep sleeping, dream merchant. Why you itching, looking real nervous? I'ma put this in position, getting pissed with lyrics to liquidate these little verses. The presentations, pussy shape the walls of the cervix. Breaking out percussion to end discussions, my ultimate. Perversion, who you think you serving? Me got no purpose, please pay attention. The major ain't got no time for petty henchmen. The deadly weapon getting in the your direction. Saws of sickness, spreading like infection. Words wallow right here, but please watch the words you mention. I spit from all the high while you swallow C for pleasure. So come at me like you seem to be threatened by my nature and get demolished. My mind ratted behavior on mics, bionic, advanced technology, honesty, supersonic. Yeah. Look! Now hold on. You ain't the first son of a bitch to wake up out of their dream. Brother, life's a bitch. She's back in. And welcome back to Revival Radio, episode 33. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's your boy, <sighs> the brain cell. Rich Steve. See, man, it's not ass like a piece of <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> we got the grease monkeys with us, right? Hell yeah, sir. hell yeah, yeah. Yep. This is a jam-packed episode. We're ready. I just cannot get right wait into to it, get man. to we it. Gotta fucking... What we got today, we got the Bilderbergs. We got the Freemasons, we got the Trilateral Commission, we got the Council on Foreign Relations. Like you said, man, let's get right into it with the Illuminati. Where let's go? Start with the top, let's talk about the Illuminati. Illuminati. Everybody hears Illuminati, everybody assumes what the Illuminati is. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? You they think it's a joke. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Right. You say Illuminati, people think that you're talking fucking tinfoil hats and you're talking Jay-Z. <laughs> right. right. And that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. That's all it was. You know, <clears throat> it's funny because the Illuminati is associated with the elite now, yeah. but that's not how it always was. Right. right, right. The Illuminati was based out of the Enlightenment period. Exactly. You had your French revolutionaries, mm -hmm. you had your Robespierre, you had your Voltaire, all of <clears throat> them who were bringing enlightenment, bringing the light to illuminate the masses. Right. right. 1776, you have Ben Franklin over here, you have Thomas Jefferson over, or over in, you know, Britain and France and all that. And they come back to America, they make this a country, and mm. at the same time in Bavaria, which is now Germany, right. the order of the Illuminati was created. Right. The original order of the Illuminati was a group of students getting together, there was like six or seven of them, mm. and they were trying to bring back those same ideals. Oh, right. They were bringing back the revolutionary ideals into this. One thing led to another, they realized they need money, 
They realize they're going to have to associate with some seedy people, some people who might not be in with the Enlightenment, and the people that they chose to associate themselves with was the Freemasons. Yeah. Okay. So let's go, Brain Cell. Let's talk Freemasons. Okay. Um, for me, for one, I think the Masons built the pyramids. So mm -hmm. that's how old I think the Masons are. Okay. And you're saying that the Illuminati existed before the Masons? The No, no, no. The Masons were already established. The Illuminati joined with the Masons. After okay, they were yeah. Created. They so were created around the Masons are old as yeah. fuck. They yeah. built the pyramids. I'm not saying that they're the fucking tip of the beak, man. Right, right. right. But they're definitely like an integral part of the New World Order, which is what we exist in right now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And I'm not talking about your local lodge. <laughs> yeah. You know? Talk I'm not talking business. about the fucking blue lodge with their fucking little craft lodge mm -hmm. and their three <laughs> little basic levels. I'm talking about the fucking grand lodge and shit. Where? So, let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Freemasonry has an inner circle. We yes. all know this. Yeah. Right. Okay. That keeps them insulated and compartmentalized. And protected. It. You okay. know what I mean? The top of the pyramid. Right. So right. there's two million Masons in America. That's insane. Right. Five million worldwide. That's, That's insane. Crazy. Of the 56 people who signed the Declaration of Independence, eight of them were fucking Freemasons. <laughs> Hand in since the beginning. Side note, <laughs> Betsy Ross's husband was a fucking Freemason. Dad, Rick I Ross? didn't know. Remember oh, of, shit. Uh, Rick Ross. Saint Ross? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Remember of St. John's Lodge, Philadelphia, you oh, know? Shit. So uh, mm. Freemasonry describes itself as a beautiful system of morality. Maybach. Veiled <laughs> in allegory. <laughs> And illustrated by <laughs> yeah. symbols. Women right. are not admitted. Right. Okay. It's segregated, black and white, different lodges. Mm -hmm. Right. And you must believe in a supreme being to be a member. Now that's Indeed. interesting, man. The fact that you need the supreme being. Right. right. Because I don't know about you guys, but when I hear Freemasons, I always thought Satan. Right. And so well, yeah. Satan technically is a supreme being. The light burner, right. I mean, he is. From yeah. what he is. Okay. Yeah, that, that, yeah, because I mean, you know, the whole thing like with that, the name association, right? Like right. Lucifer in Latin, Luce Afir, mm -hmm. light bringer or bearer. Exactly. So it's almost right. the same concept of illuminating, like, mm -hmm. to bring illumination. It's you know? how they've reversed everything. Right. They've like, they, everything the God up. in the Bible is really fucking bad, and fucking Lucifer is good. Well, well he's, he's, it's like it's like the God in the Bible, right? He's everything and nothing. Right. He's the beginning mm. and the end, right? Alpha so, and Omega. Right. right. So they have this concept where it's like, it's like a common misconception where it's like, oh, well, you know, God is evil or no, God is all good. No, God is everything. Right. God is capable of hate and love because he's all and nothing. You know right. what I mean? He's empty space Facts. and volume. Like, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Okay. I don't believe that I'm it's one, that. one. If you say that God is nothing but evil or nothing but good, then you limit a limitless God. And, and that's the concept of and the truly supreme even call him energy. God, because it's not really God. It's the energy. It's energy. Yeah. It's just right. energy. It just is what it is. Like, you know, Prime I'm waving creator. my hand. Right. right. Absolutely. We're creators in Regardless, our... though, um, Freemasonry, you're not allowed to really talk about religion. Their okay. religion right. is Freemasonry. Right. 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 So, I mean, right. they control the fucking Supreme Courts, the presidents, everything. There's a whole bunch of appendant bodies to Freemasonry. So, you have the Scottish Rite. Okay. Right. You have um, the Scottish Rites, the central authority. Okay. I mean, their central authority is the Supreme Count Council. Right. You have the York Rite. Mm -hmm. You have the Royal Arch Council and the Knights Templar. That's like, once you become a Freemason, you can go into this other shit here. It's an oh, appendant wow. fucking... It's like another step in the fucking right. For the people mm. who don't know, how many levels of Freemasonry are there? Mm -hmm. There's 33. Right, right. 33. <laughs> a magic number tonight. <laughs> yeah, shit, yeah. So uh, there's also a bunch of other ones. There's the Shriners. It's right. like kind of like an Arab organization, but it's not really Arab anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the Grotto, which is the mystic order of veiled prophets of the enchanted realm. Mm. That's that's the, a pretty right. badass. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's a that's the one I was looking shit. for earlier. <laughs> mystic order of veiled prophets of the enchanted realm. Bro, like how you get paid to be a name writer for the yeah. faces. <laughs> right. There's another one too called the Tall Cedars, right? Ooh. Which is named um, from Lebanon. Like right, uh, it's derived trees. from the. 
the cedars that King Solomon used to okay. build, build the temple. temple. Right, right. right. So we talk about the Blue Lodge, Craft Lodge. That's your there's, basic. There's three right. levels. You have the saying, apprentice, right. the journeyman, and the master mason. Once you become the master mason, you can go on to the Scottish Rite and York Rite and all this shit. Hmm. We're about to take a break real quick. The next track is called Val Points. Yes, sir. Check it out real quick. We're going to come right back. Revival Radio. Talking about Freemasons. Yeah, average rapper rapping backpack. With an act and knock a whack rapper back with the mag. Action pack, full cast, Spartan fan. I'm throwing javelins hanging from the gold ads. has never been my thing. Enough's enough. Easy breeze is scheming to get even steaming. Heat boiling blood underneath my flesh. Exhaling short breaths with snacks. Repping on this right and exact as smacks. Ah, the sis you listen, giving the rhythm miles and inches. I'm living my religion, sitting here thinking that inspiration's been given. Index finger itchy, stretching the fire arm in the direction of your vicinity. Oh, the barrels got rounds and shadows profound. The oppressor will be oppressed, so you know it's going down. No clown compound nouns when the rebels in town. No one around to rescue when it's heavy metal touchdown. Raise up the stamina, no play with amateurs. We rebels, the rhythm getting animal. I can sexy muffin space truck and then ducking the fame. Don't fuck with the main We changing the game, giving the pain. We can't restrain what's been sitting on the brain. A must to the strain. Why should I put my soul chilling? Go build with your fam. Why she say this cat's feelings? We kill her like that. Put a Philly back on the map. Truth, honor, originality, reality, rap. Composing classics. Pen and anti penicillin for poses who act plastic. Raise the beat up just a little bit. We bow the rock this wave, ignorant. We can't raise a roof off your tenements. Repping the city to a five residents. From southwest to northeast, we dead in this. Rebel code in this soul is evident. They know the car, you ain't getting it. Who will raise flesh? Why settle for less? Yo, welcome back to Revival Radio, episode 33. 33? Yeah, I mean, Grease yeah. Monkeys over here. Yeah. Right. C-Mass, C-Mass, not us. C-Mass. C-Mass. Revival <laughs> Radio. All day, all day. <laughs> Getting back into this, because uh, we're we not we not done. we just scraping the oh, surface dude. of this shit. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Choo. All right, some... Uh, back to the Masons. Oh, yeah. Some uh, Freemasons to note. Okay. Manly Palmer Hall. Mm-hmm. He wrote the book. The Secret Teachings of All Ages that I've read multiple times, you, like an encyclopedia. Yeah, you were saying that 500 earlier. Pages yeah. long. That's dope. Another one, Albert Pike. He's like right, the yeah. only Confederate fucking general to have a statue in Washington, D.C. Right, right yeah. in front of, what is it, the Capitol Hill, I think it is? Interesting. And he's 33rd yeah, right. degree. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh, so Freemasonry, they have like oaths and initiations, yeah. secret handshakes. Yes, right. They got the hidden hand. You know? <laughs> I don't even know how to fucking do it. You like touch, <laughs> touch it's the like knuckle. It's like this. It's like this. I think. It's, what is it like this? Yeah, something like something that. Like There's like false ones and right, like right. that was a false one right there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we're not but, uh, masons. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show you. We'll put the pictures up so you guys know what we're talking about. But the oaths and is what I kind of want to talk about. They okay. swear oaths of fucking secrecy, and if they break that, they give, like, consent to be fucking killed, mm-hmm. you know, drawn and quartered, um, their family killed, and you know what I mean? Like, it's now, some they, serious shit. Do they take that same oath, like, even when you're beginning, or is that, like, a later stage oath when you're talking about your family getting killed and shit, I wonder? Yeah, right. It, it has to be later. It's increments. Okay. In, like, okay, in yeah. the Scottish, the it's the Scottish right. It's not the fucking local. Right, right, right. right. Exactly. Those... The lackeys. 33rd degrees, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Each one, you have to take, like, oaths and shit. Yeah, Once you okay. make, like, Master Mason, you right. realize that you're still just a youngling. You're not even a Padawan mm. yet. You know what I mean? Mm. 
Good way There's, to um, yeah, I'm a nerd ass. Yeah. <laughs> so like they said earlier, they said that like they're all about symbology and shit. So mm-hmm. they have like their their logos, the square and the compass. Yep. What's that yep. about, man? I think it's about polarity. Okay. You know, positive, negative, as mm. above, so below. Right, right, right. right. It's kind of like the Star of David and shit. I, I believe that. And also, I think it also goes into the flat earth thing. I think but it does, too, which thing. is what I'm about to get to. Like, where, where on the go. compass, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I think Polaris is the top jump. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yep. I was trying to figure out what the angles and shit that it's at, because I know that has shit to do with mm-hmm. Right. Kind of, this was a lot of research to do. So. <laughs> uh, the arch in the plane. Okay. The dome. Right. Over the flat earth, the checkerboard. Right. right. Flat plane. Uh, also like chess game, you know the checkerboard. It's like a chess game that they're playing with the fucking it's interesting, world. Interesting, right? Yeah, Globalization exactly. again. A duality is the black and the white, and they use it as a means to like reference uh, transportation, almost like the way wormholes were. Yeah, and so, with the two pillars, right? Between right. the two pillars and the, the and the oh, arch is connecting exactly. So it's doorway. like balance right. of the duality, and they have the big G in the middle, right in the yeah. middle. So, uh, seventh letter. What they say is that's to remind Masons that God is at the center of Freemasonry. Mm. And also, it could stand for geometry, which is the noblest of sciences. Mm. In that right. Is mm. it? Is it <laughs> I needed uh, geometry. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you swear on the Bible that you walked on the moon? Please. Why don't you swear on the Bible that you walked on the moon? I'm not trying to get you tell him anything. to get but out of here. Is, this is a hotel. We'll call right, we, the police. We, we pay. Come on in not, here. We'll call the police. Solicit you like that? Why don't you swear on the Bible that you walked on the moon? I, it doesn't, sir. I don't I have nothing to do with this. But okay. You cannot solicit. Put on your shoulder. Don't be shy. Just come with me, Buzz. You really like it, don't you? You're the one who said you walked on the moon when you didn't. Calling the kettle black, if I ever thought of it. Saying Will I you misrepresented get it myself. Away from me. You're a coward and a liar and a thief. Welcome back, everybody, to Revival Radio episode 33. 33? Had a little <laughs> bit of technical difficulties, so you checked out something fresh. When we left off, I was telling you all that I hate geometry, but I don't think that's what Brain Cell was trying to get to. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brain, why don't you tell us a little bit more about who is a Freemason and who's not and all that kind of well, stuff. Well, astronauts, man. All okay. the people that have claimed to be in outer space and see the Earth right. as a fucking globe. Right. Are Freemasons, and you have to take their fucking word for it. Yeah, so right. So we have Buzz Aldrin Jr., Apollo 11, the first man to walk on the fucking moon. He punched someone in the face. <laughs> which is the clip that we'll probably just put in. Perfect. Um, yeah, so you already know. Uh, he was just a member of the guy. Clear Lake Lodge <laughs> in fucking Texas, and he carried a uh, special deputation from his grand fucking master, the dude he sucks... Right, yeah. <laughs> That's one of the rights, right? One of the rituals. Like Seventeenth that degree <laughs> to, to claim the moon as uh, being in territorial jurisdiction of their Grand Lodge. No, or crazy. Their Grand Lodge. Good thing we never went to the moon then. For real. We got all these other cocksucker astronauts: Gordon <laughs> Cooper Jr., Don Easel. John Glenn Jr., I want to talk about him. John Glenn. This is the first man in space, and he was a Royal Arch Mason, which is like the 33rd of the 33rd degree. Oh, shit. Uh, We got Virgil Grissom. 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 That's a tight-ass name. It was like Cyrus Grissom. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, James Irwin. I wonder if he's related to that fucking Steve (laughs) Steve (laughs) Rowan. Edgar Mitchell. Edgar Mitchell, yo. Check that motherfucker out on the wiki. (laughs) Uh, Walter Shearer Jr. Thomas Stafford. These dudes are like crazy decorated motherfuckers that you've never even heard of. You see the picture behind us. You see all the astronauts. They always rock their mason rings. Right, always. Paul Weiss is the... uh, most recent astronaut Freemason, right. Skylab 2, and Challenger missions. Now, I wonder why. Can you explain to me, like, why are all these astronauts Masons? Because that they, uh, Freemasons can keep secrets, man. That's yep. what it's about. Yep. They That's swear exactly those oaths yeah. of secrecy. They know what it is. 
So, I mean, what's that dude? Scott Kelly. Right, Scott He's Kelly. He's supposed to have a twin, but he doesn't have a twin. It's a, <laughs> the, it, That's just the fucking patsy that they use for when he's supposed to be on the fucking space station. Mm-hmm. People see him in real life. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, one thing real quick before we get away from Freemasonry. Yeah. I want to talk about anti-Freemasonry. Ooh, okay. Mm-hmm. And the fucking mm-hmm. William Morgan affair. Okay. So check this out. This is from Wikipedia. William Morgan was a resident of New York whose disappearance and presumed murder in 1826 ignited a powerful movement against the Freemasons, Hmm. a fraternal Hmm. society that had become influential in the United States. Pah. (laughs) <laughs> After Morgan announced his intention to publish a book exposing Freemason secrets, he was arrested on trumped up charges. Trumped. He disappeared, <laughs> right? He disappeared soon after and was believed to have been kidnapped and killed by Masons from Western New York. You don't tell them, just do it. Like, why did you <laughs> warn real? them? Right. Right. Oh. The Put allegations surrounding Morgan's disappearance and presumed death sparked a public outcry inspired Thurlow Weed and others to harness the discontent by founding the new anti-Masonic party in opposition to President Andrew Jackson's Democrats. That's crazy. Damn. And this yeah. was in like 1830. Damn. Oh, That's not even that long ago. No, man. I mean, think about it. Like not. What, something that yeah, is shit just like generations ago. ago. That yeah. is not the only secret society, though that might be the first one that I heard of. Right. You know, but, you know, I remember I told you guys earlier... 2009, me and him were starting going down to the lodge down the street and fucking flipping it off and spitting on the G out front and shit. But that's nothing. That nope. is not nope. the levels that we are talking about right here. Right uh, Brain Cell, tell us real quick just a few more secret societies that the they can check out. Bones, okay. right. mm. The Skull and Bones. Okay. George Bush says what's up. <laughs> <laughs> you have something right. to say about the Rosicrucians? I do. The Rosicrucians, they were uh, actually the ones who, when the Illuminati combined with Freemasonry... They were the ones who put out your disseminating information saying that they were satanic, they were the Antichrist, Mm. this, that, and the other, because the Rosicrucians were an offshoot from the Catholic Church. Right, right. They were all about God before humanity and all that shit, which was the opposite for For the the Masons and the Right. So we have the Knights Templar, the Knights of Malta, the Knights of Columbus, where you see all their signs, along Mm. with the Freemason Lodge signs all around your cities. Yep. Uh, the Shriners, we talked about them. Golden Cross. Our Golden Cross, yeah. yeah. Elders of Zion. Right. And the Priory of Zion. Those ones scare me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the Bohemian Club. Bohemian we talked Grove. about them. Right. Uh, what up, Malik? Yo, Alex Jones, why are you still alive, dog? That's all I'm saying. Right. Why are you still alive? It's bullshit. Right. The Scrolling Key. Dope ass name. That is a dope name. Yeah, I'm gonna make is. a track or something called it's that. Nice, yeah. Uh, Club of Rome. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Club of Rome. Ooh. Uh, we got the AA, the Golden Dawn, and the Order, uh, or the OTO, O-T-O. the mm-hmm. Order of Oriental Templars. Uh, Alistair Crowley. Hermetic. Mm-hmm. All those are Hermetic Orders of right, Alistair Hermetic. Crowley. That is crazy, man. Right. Yeah, it's a lot, bro. You hear all of these secret societies, and it it makes me wonder, like, how secretive could it really be if we all know? But right. then you find out how deep they go. Right, right. The and, rabbit holes never end. We say it all the time. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. not. Hey, it's the almost, more you fucking come to find out, the less is, you seem to know. Exactly, you know? man. Like they say, it's like two things. One, like, you can't hide the sun with your thumb. No. So you're always gonna find like a little bit of truth, but the second thing is you're right. It runs so deep, bro, that you j- like you just think that oh I figured it out. It's like holy shit. There's no, like a, it's really like opening a door to right. another world, man. I was talking with the homie last night. And we were talking about how like we gotta have certain people that just specialize mm. in certain areas because this shit takes like ten years just to like learn about Freemasons, <sighs> right? And we're t- we talk right. about all this different shit. You know, we're we're Renaissance man. We're jack of all trades, but we're masters of none. You know, I mean, we're we're just covering the basics. 
So y'all can go and research on your own, man. That's, That's right. I mean, That's if right. you're truth driven, if not, you're just gonna think we're crazy anyway. So fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> if you ain't truth driven, you don't already turn this video off. That's right. right. You, know, you, know, you got this far. You you're stayed here. here. <laughs> <laughs> you already know. So you so, got anything to talk about? I real do, quick? man. I do. I'm gonna give you guys just a real brief overture for what I'm about to talk about. Okay. And that is the Bilderberg Group. Word. Okay. So we're talking secret societies right now. This is one that for a very, very long time was pretty much hidden from everybody. Yeah. There is something like I forget what the number was in this book, but only like one out of every six thousand people that you talk to on the streets have heard. Of the Bilderberg Group. Right. Jeez. Yeah. But it's not just the Bilderberg Group. As you said before, it's all connected. Yeah. Right. It's a there's, whole network. Yep. There's a whole bunch that are connected, especially the Club of Rome. But the three that I want to talk about today, mm -hmm. the Bilderberg Group itself, uh -huh. the CFR, which is the Council on Foreign Relations, right. and the Trilateral Commission. The Trilateral, Trilateral Commission. Commission. Yeah. So the first one is the Bilderberg Group. Mm -hmm. The Bilderberg Group is made up of North America. Well, not even North America. It's the United States. It's Canada, it's Western Europe. Right. That is your Bilderbergs right there. Okay. CFR, what is that? That's America. Right, uh, pretty that's much just like America. That's, America, America, yeah. that's America itself. And then the Trilateral Commission, which started out as North America, you had Western Europe and Japan mm -hmm. eventually evolved to encompass all of uh, the Pacific region. Right. Okay. Um, when I get to the Trilateral Commission, I will get into a few more of the uh, countries that actually are connected. Okay. okay. But the very first one, again, is the Bilderberg Group. So we're going to take a break real quick, show you just a little clips of a couple people who have been involved with Bilderberg. And when we come back, I'm going to get into it. I got a deep dive yes, here, man. Good so, shit. Oh, shit. Live yeah. radio. Be right back. Wow. Wow. Radio. Start with the rest of them. Welcome to Dresden, war Why criminal. Why kill now? Arrest him. Why kill? Monster! Criminal! War Animal. criminal! Animal! What's good, everybody? Yeah, 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 yeah. I hope you're having a good night. Fucking make sure you hit the subscribe button. You're tuning in to Revival Radio, episode 33. Oh, shit. You know yeah. who the fuck we be. Rich Day. Brain So. Grease Monkeys. Just to simplify. Yes. Max yes. Luno and Nick Flair. You know it, baby. Yes. Well, it's a cane amp now, but you know. Right. So, we were talking before the break. I gave you a primer of everything that we're going to be getting into tonight. So, we're going to jump right into it with the Bilderberg Group. Word. <clears throat> Bilderberg Group started in 1954. It was held at the Big Bilderberg Hotel in Oosterbeek, Netherlands. Oh, okay. Now, a lot of people say that the Bilderberg Group was named that because of the hotel. Mm. However, those people would be wrong. <laughs> One of the early <laughs> formers of the Bilderberg Group was the Dutch Prince Bernard. He was a mm -hmm. member of the SS, and he was a board member at a place called Farben Builder. He suggested naming the new group in, in honor of the group, which had an initiative to form Himmler's Circle of Friends. The Whoa. Circle of Friends was a group of elites that got together to pay Heinrich Himmler for protection from the Nazis. Wow. I never fucking knew yeah, that. Yeah, I never knew that yeah, either. either. That's crazy. Gonna tell you all the a good majority. Of the Fourth Reich, bro. Good majority of this uh, information is from this book right here, True Story of the Bilderberg Group. Uh, I recommend it highly. <clears throat> Daniel so, S. Dolan. Awesome book, man. Um, the idea behind the Bilderberg Group was to bring together a new world order mm. that would be led by the U.S., Western Europe, and uh, Canada. Okay. This 
this is what you hear when you have George Bush saying new world order. Right. This is the shit that he was talking about. Right, okay. A globalized government, globalized currency system, all of that mm. type of shit. Um, <clears throat> the conference is held late spring, early summer, every single year in lavish resorts around the world. They're held in small towns, however. They want to make sure that there's low profile for when they're there. Even though you have all these fucking elites, how low profile can you get? That's right. true. I think every <clears throat> other year they have it in uh, America. They right? do. They do. Um, a few That's of, how powerful America is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, a few of them were held a little bit later in the year in the beginning, but ever since then it's been like April, March, June, like right around that time. Yeah. Um, the location isn't even sent out to the participants until like a week or two before the conference. Oh, wow. That's how tight they want to keep it. But motherfuckers like this guy always finds that shit and leaks it out. Alex <clears throat> Jones, too. Exactly. Fuck him, but yeah. You know, yeah, but, yeah, for real. <clears throat> um, but for the most part, it has been confined to just Western Europe, U.S., and Canada in attendance. In North 2000, America and fucking Europe. Um, you know. 2011, 2012. Well, not Mexico. They're not, they're not involved. Oh, no. No. Um, in 2011, 2012, China sent representatives. Mm. And one time in the history, there was Russian. There was wow. a Russian businessman one time. Um, but the thing that you got to realize that connects all of these together that I'm going to talk about is David Rockefeller. Okay. Rockefellers um. are involved in every single one of these. Okay. <clears throat> Remember that because it is going to come up integral in a little bit here. Okay. Um, one example of their agenda for the things that they were talking about was 1996. The 1996 meeting was when they were talking about breaking up Canada. Okay. The plan originally was from 1996, it would take until 2000, that they would join Canada with the United States. This is the North American Union that you would always hear about. Right, right. Yeah. The, idea, the idea eventually would be to have your Asian Union, you have your EU, you have your North American Union. There's even just recently they announced the African Union. Mm. This was the idea. You would have these unions that would slowly and gradually build until it was just one combined order. Um, many of the attendees have major career upward trajectories after they appear. The types of people that are coming are businessmen, politicians, industry people, all of the elites, the private bankers. citizens, the bankers, <clears throat> all coming together as one. Okay. Here's just a couple examples of the Bilderberg luck. Okay. Bill Clinton, 1991, he attended his first Bilderberg conference. Hillary actually attended later on. But okay. But you know how that went. Uh, Clinton, <laughs> 1991. 1992, he was elected president. <clears throat> Tony Blair, 1993, he attended. Hmm. He was the head of the party by 1994, prime minister by 1997. Romano Prodi, uh, 1999, he was elected, or 1999, he came to the meeting. By the end of 1999, he was elected president of the European Union. Oh, wow. September 2000, he left the union and became prime minister of Italy in 2006. Um, so you can see how quickly, if you're doing this shit, mm -hmm. you're getting, you're going up places. Yep, right. Um, <clears throat> After Clinton was was indoctrinated or whatever you want to call it in 1991, the day after he left, he was actually flown directly to Moscow. He was flown there from Bilderberg to meet with the head of the KGB. What he was doing, getting his Vietnam, like anti-Vietnam file erased so that he still looked good in the eyes of the American voter. Clinton was always a centrist. He appealed to the right, he appealed to the left. And if he had this anti-Vietnam file, they could just tear him up as a hippie. Make that shit go away, he appeals to both, takes over for another puppet in George H.W. Bush. Right. Um, all of this goes down, only one newspaper covered the fact that he went to Russia, and that was the Arkansas Democrat. A small local paper was the only one. Um, so just who are the attendees? I gave you a list, or I gave you an idea of what it was. I'm just going to read to you a couple names real quick. Okay. I'm sure Henry <clears throat> Kissinger's. Oh, who, and man. And fucking the big new Brzezinski. Uh-huh. Yeah, at the top of that fucking list. Uh, just a Rockefellers. couple. Rockefellers. A couple yeah, of the places that it, uh, 
represents company wise. Coca Cola, BP, Chase Manhattan, Manhattan, that's Rockefeller, yeah. mm-hmm. American Express, Goldman Sachs, Microsoft, uh, directors of the CIA, the FBI, Secretary General of NATO, it goes on and on. Damn. Some of the people. Yeah, you find like Bill Gates and shit there. Yeah. You know? Um. Some of the people would include. Robert McNamara, Kennedy Secretary of Defense. William P. Bundy, former president of the Ford Foundation. We're going to take a break real quick. We're going to come back and finish this up. Henry Kissinger, remember that name. Kissinger. It's important. A lot of human suffering. Do you have any regret or remorse for the human suffering, Mr. Kissinger, that you caused millions of people in Chile and Argentina and East Timor? Mr. Kissinger, I know you're not going to respond, but I don't want your new world order, and you won't have one, Mr. Kissinger. National sovereignty will prevail, freedom will reign, nation states will survive, sir, and you will not have your new world order, your eugenics, because we are changed and we are taking this generation back, sir. Introduce a new commander of International Space Station, Captain Wilmer Butch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you, Max. Hey, I want to congratulate you on a great tenure as a, a commander of this engineering marvel. Welcome back, everybody, to episode 33 of Revival Radio. Your man, Rick <laughs> Steve. Brian. Yo. What up, Nature Boy, baby? You already, you already know. know. Next one, no. <laughs> All right, so as we were going out, I was giving you a list of people that have been there. The last one that I said was Henry Kissinger. Yeah. Henry Kissinger. Remember that Scum. name because he's going to come up a lot. He's a piece of shit. As you read through this book, there's a bunch of pictures of him, which my fucking homie drew a giant hairy dick going into his mouth. So that's the type of dude this dude was. I read this book when I was in jail. I got it sent in. Word. Me, Word. You, know? you want to know the kind of dude that Henry Kissinger is? Henry Kissinger threatened the life of former Italian Prime Minister Aldo Moro. Okay. This dude ended up got. He was later murdered, but Kissinger was never indicted, even though Moro's wife testified twice at the trial what Henry Kissinger said. This wasn't picked up by one media station in America. Wow. This is when he was actively involved with, with Nixon and everybody else. No, didn't even come up. So what do they discuss at these meetings? We already talked real quick about Canada getting broken up. Right. The policies disgusted are that are discussed are enacted almost right afterwards. Okay. For instance, 2002, somebody has come up a lot for us, Donald Rumsfeld. Okay. Uh-huh. Donald Rumsfeld was asked to come in. He was demanded to come in. Because they wanted to discuss the U.S. war plans for Iraq. Right. The plan that everybody was hearing that was going through the media at this time was by late summer or fall that U.S. was going to war. Now, remember, this is early spring. You have the Bilderbergs. Mm -hmm. Rumsfeld comes in. He says, no, I can promise you it won't be until the spring 2003. March 2003, the Iraq war starts. Wow. Not one. Not one newspaper, because there are media representatives there, but they're sworn to secrecy. Not one of them reported when we were going to war, even though they knew a year ahead of time. Wow. Why would they? Because they're all fucking <coughs> controlled by the fucking same group. Exactly. You already know. So, uh, what I got here, I'm just going to read you the one, uh, is this year, 2017's agenda. Okay. That, that they talked about. First thing was the Trump administration, a progress report. Mm -hmm. uh, Number two, transatlantic relations. Number three, transatlantic defense alliance. Four, the direction of EU. Five, can globalization be slowed down? Six, income and unrealized expectations. Seven, the war on information. Mm -hmm. Eight, why is populism growing? Eight, Russia. Nine, or ten, whatever, Near East, nuclear (laughs) proliferation, China, and current events. So you have all of these motherfuckers getting together, and this is the type of shit they're talking about. You know who else is there? Since Eisenhower, every single president has sent somebody if they didn't go themselves. Right, that's... Including Trump. And whenever, whatever they talk about there ends up happening... 
in the next year or two. Within you know, the next year or two. I have a whole list, but I'm not going to read it for time's sake. There's These people are the controllers, and they make shit fucking happen. Yeah, you know? exactly. Um, the way that this is set up is four days. There's going to be two sessions a day, one in the morning, or two in the morning, two in the evening, except for Saturday, because on Saturday, they're going out partying. Sometimes they get horseback riding and play right. golf, rape little children, you know, just <laughs> the, the usual, usual shit. <laughs> Vampire um, shit. The, yeah. rules, the rules are as follow. No recording. Okay. Number two, no wives, no girlfriends. Okay. Number three, no armed guards, which they have labeled in the rules as personal assistants. Okay. <laughs> um, including David Rockefeller's little fuckboy. He wasn't allowed to be coming. Look back to the Bohemian Grove episode to find out about David Rockefeller's fuckboy. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the last is no interviews. Okay. Because there are still some media that do show up that are not uninvited. Right. Don't do any interviews. Uh, the hotels are actually cleared out a day or two beforehand. None of the public are allowed. The only staff members that are allowed to stay have been thoroughly vetted. They have been told not to talk to anybody, wow. and this is under threat of your job. Most of the time, the elites bring people with them. They bring their own chefs and all that shit to make sure this is on lockdown just right. for them. Okay. Um, that's why it's held in a small town, so it's private, all that kind of stuff. Here, I'm going to go through real quick. The goals of the Bilderberg Group. This is what they are aiming to achieve. Okay. One, one international identity. Two, centralized control of the people. Three, a zero growth society, as in no monetary growth outside of that. Wow. Um, perpetual imbalance. Uh, centralized control of education, Common mm -hmm. Core. Yeah. Centralized control of foreign and domestic policies, the UN. Empowerment of the UN. <laughs> <coughs> the United Nations will be the new government. Right. Um, Western trading bloc, that will be NAFTA, which was enacted by Clinton. Right. Um, uh, expansion of NATO, which will be the military of the new world. One legal system, the International Court of Justice. They ultimately want one socialist welfare state. Mm -hmm. Now, you may be asking yourself, if you're like me... Why would these <clears throat> these bourgeois, the elites, these ultimate capitalists right. be wanting a communist or a socialist society? Here's the answer for that, because that's exactly what I wrote down. <laughs> the answer is monopoly. They right. want to have a monopoly on every single one of these things. The USSR and China, they didn't have a real socialistic society. The way that it was structured is that not everybody was equally equal. The people above were always getting a little bit more. Okay. When the USSR collapsed and turned to democracy, what happened? It didn't get much better. Most of Russia is still a pretty shitty place today. Right. right. But yeah. you look at China after Mao's system went into what is today state Mao. state controlled <laughs> Mao. communism. It's one of the top economies in the world. China is the ideal system that they are looking for when they say socialism. Okay. Um. The thing about this is socialism, what it really means is the ultimate control. If you want a power system controlled by the government, right. socialism. Right. So socialism socialism <laughs> equals government control. Who runs the government? The Rockefellers. Yeah. Rockefellers are key as into As far all as this. we know. Right, as right, as know. right, yeah. This leads us to the state of perpetual war. Okay. War causes a state of fear. We're not at war right now, so now they bring in the racial divide. Right. Now they bring in the mass shootings. Right. They bring in this, that, and the other, the Russians. Right. Because Wait, they, we're not at war anymore? We're not technically at war right now. We're, we're, we're still killing people for, everywhere, uh, but we're not no. technically at war right, right now. By their terms. Double exactly. Speak, how, right. How they exactly. Yep. Um, war's peace. <laughs> take into consideration... Ignorance is freedom. Take into consideration <laughs> one big thing you hear about right now <laughs> is Antifa. Yeah. The uh -huh. anti-fascist yep. going up against mm -hmm. the far right. Yeah. One of the conspiracies that you always hear is that George Soros controls Antifa, right. that they're paid opposition, that they're paid protesters. Mm -hmm. Now, on Reddit, you have a, a board called Anarchism, and they go on there and they're like, well, that just doesn't make sense. Why would some capitalist pig be paying us? The answer is because he wants the same thing you do. Yeah. He wants a socialist society. Right. But your ideas of what socialism are are completely different. Right. Another goal... Of the uh, Bilderberg Group 
is to disarm all nations. By using the United Nations, they can get everybody to give up their guns all around the world. You look to the United Kingdom, you look to Japan, citizens already don't have guns. Even police don't have guns in some of these places. There's police for the police, like in super police, Robocop, yeah. who are allowed to have fucking guns. <laughs> But the common citizen don't have that shit. The militarized police. Exactly. Yeah. They're allowed to have guns. But yeah. the general populace, so they don't even think it's a thing. What now, happened the fuck to the Constitution, bro? Uh-huh. What yeah. their yeah. ass with yeah. it. Exactly. That's what yeah. it. Exactly. So now, now <laughs> we need to figure out how can we get America, which loves its Second Amendment, right. to give up their guns, to fall in line. Where's your answer lie in Las Vegas? Right. Your answer lies Sandy in Hook. Sandy Shit Hook. Like that. Yep. All of these different shootings mm -hmm. where they can push this agenda. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. It's the same agenda being thrown out. Um, so what does Brutal. Russia play into all of this? Mm -hmm. If you have all of these different things, what does Russia have to do? Russia was the greatest threat to America industrial financial supremacy before the Bolshevik Revolution. The Bolshevik Revolution came, destabilized Russia. The Bolshevik Revolution was funded by Carnegie and Rockefeller. Yeah. They gave money Both to the dudes Lenin. Both drew fucking shit on. Yes. They <laughs> gave money to Lenin and Trotsky. They even <clears throat> let Trotsky come to America when they were in exile after the first failed revolution. Gave them the money, gave them the power, put them in. Through World War II, and I'm going to finish up with this, through World War II and beyond, we funneled arms, materials for nukes, and ships to Russia, which we continue to do today. The thing that's interesting is the minimal press that is given to be, uh, to uh, the Bilderberg Group. Mm -hmm. It's all saying the exact same bullshit. Right. It's like the Iran-Contra fucking shit. Dude. Exactly. You know? Exactly. They fund fucking both sides of the fucking war to make money off shit. Yep. All these banker fucking elite motherfuckers. Hey, I'm war's gonna, a lucrative business, bro. I'm going to yeah, leave you on man. this right here. This is a quote from David Rockefeller. All right. Some even believe we are part of a secret cabal working against the best interests of the United States, characterizing my family and me as internationalists, of conspiring with others around the world to build a more integrated global political and economic structure, one world, if you will. If that's the charge, I stand guilty, and I am proud of it. Wow. See that? Wow. I We're remember that quote. Mouth. I've read that shit before. No, We're going to take a break. Horse, yeah, just, put, just put right in front of your face, and you still want to ignore that. That's, We're going to take a break real quick. We're going to come back and talk about the CFR Trilateral Commission. Episode 33. Bitch! 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 Last goodbyes, cause I'd rather be sick than on your side. I'm not okay, I'm not alright. Every day in the dark of night, hid away, locked out of sight. Like the moon, I eclipse the light. Dark side, uh, aligned with the misfits. I know I exist, but I'm twisted. I don't believe in you like I don't believe in Christmas. Yo, solipsis, persistently sadistic. This pain won't vanish, this pain won't go, go. Now this pain is all I know, no Had it with people, had it with the show Going bad, so evil, so cold, unfriendly Yeah, I'm not the nicest I gave up on trying to fight it I'm friendly, I'm not the nicest Just leave me to my own devices Please tell me I'm not Please tell me I'm 
Welcome back to Revival Radio, everybody. Rich, Steve, and the crew. Um, we're, we're, <laughs> so I just went. They already know who the fuck we are. I just <laughs> went in a uh, deep dive status on that Bilderberg group. Hell I just yeah. wanted to read you guys one more quote. Okay. Um, this says, God may have created the universe, but as far as planet Earth is concerned, <clears throat> the message to God from the Bilderberg group is simply this. Thanks, but we'll take it from here. Arrogance. Pure fucking Pure arrogance. arrogance. Right. Unbelievable, yo. They're psychopaths. Crazy. Yeah, that's absolutely, exactly. yeah. They don't exactly. feel empathy, man. At all, At bro. All. That That's insane. The track you just heard, though, was a fucking oldie, man. It was Ooh, a jam right. that I just found sitting in my shit from, like, 2013. Okay. By the homie Grizzly Adams, and it had, like, yeah. open verses for me and shit. I, I, I just First put contact. a verse on it fucking five years later and shit, you know? Yeah, it's like, it's like yeah. Hey, man. <laughs> Word. That's right. Yeah. That's yeah. what's yeah. Sick. Will always last. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so why don't you take it away with the next level of what we're going to talk about, the Council on Foreign Relations. The Word. CF motherfucking R. Um, founded 1921 by Herbert Hoover and none Ooh. other than David Rockefeller. Mm. Yeah. And a group of about 10 other prominent academics uh, and you, banker types. Do you know who one of those prominent academics were? Who? My great, 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 whatever, Woodrow Wilson. Or not Woodrow Wilson. Uh, You're my related man. to Woodrow Wilson. I am. Wilson. Woodrow Wilson. That's that's the one, dude. Wow. wow. That is my relative. Thank you to the family tree, Ancestry. <laughs> Appreciate it. A couple other <laughs> founding members, Edward M. House, Paul Warburg, James T. Shotwell, and Archibald Coolidge. Ooh, shit. Name yeah. a few. The CFR is a United States nonprofit think tank. Mm. Specializing in foreign policy and internal affairs. Their headquarters is in New York City and Washington, D.C. Uh, membership is close to 5,000, surprisingly. That's crazy. Including, That's a really big group. <clears throat> including <laughs> senior politicians, more than a dozen secretaries of state, CIA directors, Shit. bankers, lawyers, professors, and senior media figures. You know, the scum of the earth. <laughs> the idea of the think tank is interesting, man. Like, yeah. right. Think tanks use the engineering of consent right. to break down the psychological strength of the individual and render them helpless to oppose the dictators of the NWO. Mm. Basically... To these elite, like what a think tank is, the people that are there, they're like right below the elite. Uh -huh. They think they're better than everybody below them. Right. Right. But in fact, it's just like TV for them. It's fucking propaganda being fed to them from the elite, right. just like we watch TV. Wow. Oh, wow. Since 1940, wow. every U.S. Secretary of State, with the exception of James Burns, has been either a member of the CFR or the Trilateral Commission. <laughs> Since 1947, 14 secretaries of defense, all fucking members of the CFR. Virtually every key U.S. national security and foreign policy advisor has been CFR for the past 90 years. Damn, wow. yo. See that? <laughs> That's crazy. As you can probably yeah. like, yeah. tell for yourself, they maintain complete control over the entire fucking cabinet. Exactly, man. Like, George W. Bush wasn't CFR, but his his whole cabinet was Dick Cheney, Condoleezza right. yeah. Rice, Colin Powell. Goes on and on. Facts. Yeah. Uh, some CFR members that were presidents. Her Herbert Hoover. Hoover. He was the co-founder. Dwight Eisenhower. JFK. Some Ooh. files just came out on Ooh, that shit. Right, yeah. Nixon. Mm. Herbert fucking Horatio Humphrey. H H H Triple H Triple H H eight fucking thirty wow. eighth vice president that motherfucker. That's really early. With the cipher beat. I forgot about this shit. I forgot the name of that. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. Drill right in. You want? Can we can we mute the beat? Is there any way he can do that? Mute the beat for now and then just uh. No. No. We'll just come back <laughs> in. That's cool. All right. We'll come right back. And uh, this freestyle, we're going to do in a little bit for you guys. Word. This is the taste of what's to come. The taste. <laughs> Fuck. 
All right, what's up, motherfuckers? Technical we left difficulties. <laughs> multiple times. Multiple uh, times. <laughs> We left off with Triple H. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dropping that on you We got George McGovern, <laughs> Gerald Ford. All these motherfuckers are CFR members. Mm. Uh, Jimmy Carter, George W. 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 <laughs> uh, Bill Clinton. Fucking our homie Rumsfeld and Cheney. Rami! <laughs> Dickie do. What's up? The Secretaries of Defense, in case you forgot. But I want to wrap it all up with the Rand Corporation. Yeah. And the Tavistock Institute, yeah. man. Tavistock, the fucking yeah. Tavi. Fuck the Tavi. <laughs> Heavily <laughs> involved, but we're going to save them for future episodes. You know what I mean? Hell exactly. yeah, hell yeah. But uh, so to sum it up, the CFR is basically a propaganda machine right. hell bent on engineering consent. Exactly, right. man. Bars. Manufacturing this, consent is the name of the game. This is, is this is the media wing of the whole thing. Right. The Bilderberg Group is the international body that is taking and putting together the policies and enacting them the cfr is getting the americans to accept it right mm. that is what they're trying to do manufacturing right. consent right absolutely Facts. Facts. but we <laughs> cannot talk about the cfr and the bilderberg group without the trilateral commission right right, right here i'm gonna tell you 90 percent of all cfr Members are trilateral commission right. or builder. That's a big fucking number, dude. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people, bro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, how many did you say? Like 5,000 CFR, 90%. That's like 7,000 people, bro. <laughs> 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 this trilateral right. commission. Sounds about uh, right. <laughs> tri I told you I wasn't good at geometry. I'm not good at all math, yeah. bro. <laughs> but, uh, the trilateral commission, as I said in the beginning, this is your North America, your Western Europe, and started with Japan, expanded to all the Pacific region. Right. You have your Thailand, your New Zealand, your Australia, all coming together. Globalize to Asia. To form your international CFR, this is globalization. Right. Trilateral Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Right there, that is globalization. One, two, three. You got the top of the pyramid, bro. Yeah, yeah. Top of the pyramid. <laughs> the only regions that are excluded from this whole thing, which I think is kind of interesting, Equatorial Africa, because they do have South Africa in some places, but Equatorial near the equator, right. mm -hmm. and India are not included. Um, most others, however, have been represented, if not now, at one time or another. That includes uh, the Middle East, mm -hmm. uh, some South American countries, okay. Ukrainian, uh, Hungarian, mm -hmm. uh, Russians have actually been involved, and Chinese at one time or another have been members for a little bit of time. Okay. They're all working together. Yeah, They absolutely. say they are highly screened before they are allowed into the Trilateral Commission. Um, the whole idea of the Trilateral Commission was was brought by Rockefeller. Mm -hmm. He proposed it to the CFO, or uh, he proposed it in 1973 mm -hmm. to uh, the Bilderberg Group. Okay. He got the idea in 1972 from the CFR. Okay. Mm -hmm. The idea was, you know, if we really want to enact these global policies, we need to include Asia. Okay. They couldn't do it just We're with wrong. Western Europe and North America. They needed to include Asia. Okay. So you, you see this and you got to wonder, what have they actually accomplished? Because right. it's a big, lofty goal. Right. So I'm going to just read you four things that the Trilateral Commission have accomplished. Okay. This is thus far, right? Yes, thus okay. far. Uh, We've seen two regional economic blocks emerge. Okay. The European Community and the Union of the Americas with the adoption of NAFTA. Right. The soon-to-be-created Asian Monetary Union is waiting in the wings. Also, the African Union now. This was like 2007, I think this book right, was published. Right, right. Uh, number two. U.S. and Western nations have heavily subsidized and carried debt to third world countries. Right. We're from third world countries. Mm -hmm. You think about... Uh, down when there's been collapsing in Ireland or there's been collapsing in Greece. Right. Who picks it up? The big countries, That's the right. Germanies, the, the uh, not the English, they don't do that shit, but the French, the Americans, they jump on that shit. Right. Number three, <clears throat> the U.S. sent billions of dollars worth of technology to the Soviets and Chinese, established burgeoning trade following its detente 
Don't know what that word means. With the Chinese <laughs> and Russians. So basically, like I said, Russians and Chinese have been there. After that, they got some billions of dollars worth of technology and shit. Damn. This goes back to the arms that we had sent over previously to right. them. Number four. We've seen one energy crisis after another, beginning with the 1973 Suez Crisis. More recently, desert storm action of the early 90s to restore world oil production to Kuwait, following Iraq's invasion to annex its oil fields, and now the ongoing war in Iraq. U.S. justification for invading Iraq was to secure weapons of mass destruction. Right. These threaten world stability, but they never materialized. Mm -hmm. So obviously, America's true purpose was to manipulate the flow of Middle East oil. Right. Despite promises to free the Iraqi people and build their own democracy. By doing all of these things, you're putting these countries in debt to them. Right. Now they need to turn to Big Brother. They need to get the Americans and the other people on board so right, the they're not going to uprise. They're not going to go against you yeah. if you're feeding them. They're not going to bite the hand that feeds you. Absolutely, right. Um, another thing that I wanted to, that I just wanted to close out with. Mm -hmm. um, when Jimmy Carter took office, um, Henry Jimmy Kissinger, Carter. Henry Kissinger, Kissinger again, right. made a, dec a declaration to the head of state of Canada, a neighboring country, obviously, right. and a staunch ally of the U.S. He said... Jimmy Carter is not the president of the United States. Mm. The Trilateral Commission is the president of the United ha. States. Mm -hmm. I represent the Trilateral Commission. So he is the president. I <laughs> am the Senate. <laughs> so now you see. You see the connections. Yep. You see that Rockefeller, who had a, a piece in the CFR, right. a piece in the Trilateral Commission, a major piece in the uh, Bilderberg Group, you wonder why they want the socialist. Why would a capitalist like him allow it? Because he controls all of it. That's right. right yeah. It's all about consolidation of power. That's yeah, all it is. absolutely. Absolutely. That's all it's about. So that, my friends and not friends and my new CIA handlers and the NSA <laughs> people that are listening <laughs> to me right now, <laughs> Henry Kissinger himself, how are you? Uh, I don't know how to say hi in Russian, but Danka, I don't know if that's Russian. But the point is, folks, if you are still wondering if there really is a global elite controlling everything, mm -hmm. there is. Right, right. I mean, there, there's definitely facts. enough facts presented here. Like, if you're still questioning it, like I said, you're either in denial or you're just crippled by fear. Exactly. So, and it, we're just fucking scratching the surface with yep, this shit. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't get into like I have pages that I just straight up took pictures of that I wanted to read quotes of that I just left out because we didn't have time. Okay. Go and do your research, man. Don't believe us. Right. Fuck us, man. Right. Do Go out knowledge. and figure it out for yourself. If you think I'm full of shit or they're full of shit, this is your chance, bro. Uh, yeah. You should think we're full of shit and you should That's be a right. skeptic That's and you right. should go fucking... Prove us wrong. Exactly, yeah, man. Wrong. You know, out there. like, you don't have to think anything. You can think I'm a fucking shill like Alex Jones. Right. Say the exact same right. type of right. shit it's, that he's saying. Right. It's easy for people to just be like, oh, you're a fucking tinfoil hatter and shit without doing the fucking research, yeah, man. Exactly. And all the shit that's been coming out lately has just been vindicating everything that we've been fucking saying all along. Yep. Yeah, I so mean... fuck you in right. your motherfucking face. What's <laughs> up now? I was gonna mention this a couple episodes back, but I never got to it. Uh -huh. And I mean, I don't want to brag because this is not something to brag about, but... We kind of have been talking heavy about Pizzagate and about Pedogate and about this whole sex trafficking ring. Right. And then you find out about Harvey Weinstein. Then you find out about Kevin Spacey. Right. Then just today, shout out AI for bringing this to my attention. Right. Ashton Kutcher right. is on the board of the Man McCain Foundation, which is linked to the Clinton yeah, Foundation. The Clinton. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. We got you, Ashton. You've been <laughs> punked, bitch. We called that months <laughs> ago. <laughs> <son>. uh, <yeah. laughs> Yo, and be, be weary of agents of disinformation, right? They're going to tell you shit that's true, right? Yes. But then they're going to feed you like the, 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 whole, the whole bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So just take everything with a grain of salt. But remember one thing, and this is a 
quote like I always love. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, Sherlock Holmes said it, and he's not a real motherfucker, but somebody <laughs> broke him. So he says basically, when you um when you eliminate all of the possibilities, what you're left with inevitably is the truth. Ooh. So eliminate all of the possibilities. You'll Ooh. see you'll see your truth right there. Follow the money trail. Absolutely. They put it right in front of you, man. Right if in you your face. if you really want, you can buy. From the Trilateral Commission, their member list. You can subscribe to their newsletter. It's all right. going to be disinformation that they're putting out. But if you read between the lines, there's exactly. some quotes in here from the Trilateral Commission newspaper that are sick as fuck. They don't even hide it in some of that shit. Right. Where they just say straight up, this is what we need to do. Right. You got to be careful, man. They hijack fucking everything. Yep. Never fucking join an organization because once you join an organization, you're no longer a free thinking individual. True you that. have to That's fucking right. True that. uphold and defend the fucking organization that you belong to. Right. So. Exactly. We're going to take one more break. When we come back, you guys want to rap a little bit to wrap it up? Yeah, that rap to rap. You guys? Yeah, I'm down. All right, Revival down. Radio, episode 33. If you're back. Word. Three, three. Word. <laughs> Welcome back to Revival Radio. Make sure you hit like, comment, share, fucking subscribe, all that good shit. Let them yeah. know you in yeah. the area, bro. This is right. episode 33. 33. 33. Yeah. Hey. Confirmed Illuminati. <laughs> 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 so, here we are once again. We have just talked about a whole bunch of bullshit. But let's get back to our guests. Let's get back to our pros of the week, man. Word. Tell me, what, what like, led you to the truth community, man? Like, what made you get involved in all this type of shit? Yeah, um, since I was younger, honestly, bro, like, I've always been, like, on that. I was that weird dude in school, bro. Like, I was yeah. weird. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah. Sport. You know what I'm saying? still weird, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's true. You know what I mean? But, you know, I believe, I believe, I, like, when I was a young boy, I was always talking about aliens and shit like that. So conspiracy theories, like, what they consider theories, you know, is something that always interested me because <clears throat> this appealed to me. When I got older, you know, I started to do some legitimate research and start to realize exactly all these connections are, you know, taking place. 
And that's when it starts to hit me like, all right, so maybe it's not so much a theory, you know? It's just like mm. things get found out because like I said, you can't hide the sun with your thumb, bro. Yeah, you can't. Everything yeah. sees the light of day at some point, you know? True that's that. pretty pretty much like we always went back and forth for information and I was more centered around history and he was more centered on like natural science and, and everything else. Yeah. yeah. I mean, my, my, my strong point was history at that time because I was always like, Oh, I want to know the history of Ninja Turtles or, yeah. you know, like all this other stuff. It's like, okay, well, I'm good at that. But what about world history? Like, mm. yeah. what's what's real? Like, what, what can I hold on to, you know, and give to my kids as a legacy? Yeah. You know? And what, what really got me, though, was just noticing things in the media, especially, like, with the movies that they gave us at the time that we were growing up. Right. You know what I mean? So it was, you know, just watching these things and, you know, talking with him. Like, we always talk about comics and... Like, wow, what did that really happen? Whoa. You know, a lot yeah. of that shit, I mean, like, sci-fi and a lot of that shit is more toward the the truth than, right. like, the news and yeah, shit. Yeah, right, like exactly, that. bro. Yeah. yeah That's like how they reverse program. fucking everything. Yeah, yeah, man. That's exactly what it is. Everything's reversed, yeah, man. They, truth in plain sight, bro. Like, truth in movies, lies yeah. on the fucking news. Yeah, predict the program. I'm gonna throw you a curveball question, right? Okay. Like, a little bit of a <laughs> philosoph- philosophical question. All right. What is art? What is mm. art? So to me, okay, <laughs> art doesn't right? have like a legitimate definition, right? Mm-hmm. See, I, I believe that art speaks to everyone in a different way and, and no interpretation of art is wrong. Yeah. Like we can look at the same painting and you see something that I don't see, I see something you don't see, but you're not wrong and neither am I, you know? And when when, when an artist makes a piece, for instance, when I make a song, in, in my mind, like I made a few songs for like some some girls, like I told you, like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I've made a few songs for like girls that if people hear it, they can relate to it. What of, of course you can, because, you know, you don't know my ex-girl. You know, you don't know what we've been through. You weren't there in the personal fights or whatever. Exactly. So my art that I put out there, I never label it like this is what it's about. And if you listen to it, it's about my ex-girl. No, it's, a, it's like if you take what you take from it, bro. So to answer that question as generally as I can, bro, art is the truest expression of a human soul. Like just mm. truest expression. Mm. I agree, hundred <sighs> percent. Bomb, dropping and I, the truth well, bomb. That's a nice little curveball question. Yeah, right? That was good, that's man. Good yeah, one, right? that's, that's, that's yeah, a deep art, one right to there, me, bro. Art is the way, like yeah. just living, breathing. That's an art, art form in itself, because it's an exercise, a pattern that you do every day. You know, you get up and you wanna, you, you got patterns that you live your life by, yep. and just getting up and experiencing life in itself. It's art. Word. Hell yeah. So. uh you want to rap right quick, boys? Hey, speaking of art, right? Yeah. Freestyle, freestyle. That's it. Peace monkey. That's it. The Critical yeah. mass. In the gas station, the grease monkeys in your nation. Laying different rhyme styles that we're displaying. The whole thing is a uh, truth covered in lies. The dirt I despise. You cats, your demise is eminent. Spit flows that's relevant. I'm like an element. Coming through like lightning, yeah. You know I strike cats down just like I'm fighting. Yo, it's like it's frightening. Through, like elephants when we breeze through, coming through. Smoke up, yo I see two, now I see four times that by eight. I skate on tracks, come Word. back, yo I wear my armor plate. Uh. Still got facts, fate won't judge my time, but still coming back, yo. Sometimes I seem so blind, so I just gotta put on blindfolds just to spit a couple lyrics so you can feel it. Yo, they say the earth is not round and yeah. Yeah, I believe that so Cause right. I use things Bring up knowledge with lassos yeah. yeah, sometimes an asshole But sometimes I'm observing I'm very observant right. Throwing curveballs at us, man We knock it out the park Like our name was I don't know A baseball player could say go Plato Come through yeah. with brown styles That's harder than Waco The shit uh. that they doing You know I got to hit it with the fluid Oh, switch it up So, now I got the Pump it up, no, pump it, just a little bit. No, I got the spit, yes, the rhyme style is Icarus. Remember, from back in the day when I start the spit, got the hit, fully equipped to spit the shit off the side of my lip. Still fully equipped to make you understand that I never quit and I still build. It's like the build a bird type of group controlling it. Come through with rhyme styles and yes, I'm never folding it. In fact, you catch this, try to hold it, but it's too hot, so you have to drop it. So I start to take a shot. Burn like blisters on your finger after you touch hot pipes. Ooh. I still come back off of the mind, off of the mic. All right. Yo, it seems like I'm lost in the distance. I'm up in the skies, high as hell with my man's. Yeah, it's Christmas or? Almost there two months, almost squared away with these things I eat them for lunch. Word. I see words appear in front of my visions. Uh, 
Still what I'm singing will bring some sort of cataclysm Word. Not from my hands But still if you ignore facts for what happens In this time your plan has been laid out uh. Yeah, Laid out and I display my clout In fact I come through with no doubts Yeah I got clout too Doesn't matter cause I'm still spitting with rhyme styles that's come through In fact I start to ascend to a spiritual level Every time I spit it's like you have to adjust your treble Fact hit the bass Every time I talk to kick it to your face I take your ears and rip them off and then I start to speak my part it's like you have to hear me come through with rhyme styles that's clear and I still appear just like a magician yeah rhyme styles I'm flipping in fact you know I got to hit these cats because they kittens in fact they just a little bit under that so I start to react just like a chemical Reaction equation that I'm start to blasting Every time I'm coming through it's like my spirit gets ascended And I just blended with the heavens, the cosmos inside of me Always coming through with the rhyme styles that's like a odyssey uh, Hit the lottery, mm. hit the jackpot uh, Sometimes they call me a crackpot uh. When it comes to coming up with flows I go I seem like I'm driving by in a Civic that's been <laughs> Push past the limit, Word. my foot on the pedal, going fast, heavy metal. Word. Still if it crashes and my soul ascends, I still come back with lyrics that you'll hear again and again. Like, Word. gotta rewind this shit, what's going on? This cat's kind of crazy with it, yeah. I'm cr so crazy, I forget to do other things in life that I, I really need to. So I just go off and fuck it. I'm like a missile. So I'ma have to feed you. Uh -huh. With these issues that I'm spitting, ripping you cats apart like you were tissues. I'm still coming through with some issues. Cutting myself every time that I think that I'm hitting a different part of my self. Stuff is how I move through the clouds and I start to provide this different type of sound around you. Yeah, you know I got to clown you. Not everybody, just the cats that think they better than me. But don't understand the parties that be inside of the government and other types of rhyme styles I'm kicking. It's like a covenant, but they still come through. With the spell casting, yeah, you know I got the verbal blasting, reacting. In fact, I'm trashing anybody going across this knowledge and saying, yo, I gotta turn this shit off, kid. I'm talking quick, fast. Well, check it, I still whip ass with or without a beat. Doesn't matter, cause I start to speak. Truly unique. One of the illest in the scene. Best believe that. I'm coming through with rhyme styles that still like these bleak cats. So. Oh. Real cypher shit, gotta yeah. end it off like this. It's the weapons like a baby. What did you expect? Word up. <laughs> Word Revival up. Radio uh, episode I mean, 33. 33. Everybody, thank you for tuning in. Word Where up. can they find you guys on Facebook, Instagram, all that shit? Yes, Word. Facebook. You can look me up, Black Mage Maxuno. I'm not on Instagram, I'm not on none of that. I try to keep it at Facebook. www.spacetrucking.net. That's space trucking. Without the G at the end. You feel me? All right, that's <laughs> what it is. And if y'all want to hear my shit, honestly, the best way is probably a SoundCloud. Ink right, Flare. SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to update that, John, because like I said, woo! Cicada Amp. You, woo! Cicada Amp just started today. Ink Flare is the name, though. Y'all go to SoundCloud. Y'all can check me out. Yo, check out that Versus mixtape. You know what I mean? Salute to Critical Mass for having us Absolutely. That's Boys, what it is. Much love, guys. Yeah, we coming back. Gotta come back. Hell, we gotta come back. Come back. We gotta hear come back. that shit. I'm stealing brains, daps, bars right there. I didn't get to rap, so I'm a bar. All right, they don't just play, bro. No, no, no. That, you don't want to hear me rap anyway, man. I, I rap <laughs> written, so I don't do that freestyle. <laughs> that's the homie's <laughs> job. That's I'll right. get you open, brother. Yeah, that's, that's, it. It. that's it. Everybody, that's thank you from the bottom of our hearts as always. Click subscribe, share, comment, let your friends know what's going on, like the Facebook page, come out to see us live. We're recording yeah. shit right now, <laughs> December 9th. You can see me wrestle Hell yeah. over Delaware because I kick Big Mike's ass. Woo! <laughs> Everybody, uh, thank you so much. Word. See mass in this bitch. Whoop. Word up. Her. Revival Radio. Peace. Peace. Squanchy party, bro. Oh, Squanchy. Is there a good place for me to squanch around here? Squanchy, you can squanch wherever you want, man. Mikasa as a suit casa, dog. All right. I like your squanch. Uh, Rick